Hello, hello, and welcome to A Life More Boaty. We are here today, courtesy of the lovely people at Princess Modi Yacht Sales, to have a look at the Princess S72. Now, I wanted to start in a slightly unusual position because I wanted to give you an idea of how they get so much volume into these. You know, it's not massive, 70 foot is big, but it, there are bigger boats. And I just want to give you an indication of the glazing. So that's the glazing. That's the master cabin window in here. And if I just hold the camera back, put my hand up here, that's the top of the deck up there. So you can see how they just absolutely squeeze volume in here. So we'll wander back. We will start on the bathing platform down here. So a decent sized bathing platform, as you can see, that whole section across the back here is high low, so you can put a tender on it if you want to, but probably don't need to because there is a tender garage in here which we'll have a quick look at now so this tender garage is designed to take a William sport jet as you can see and you can get a 395 in there as we've got here fully inflated if you want a slightly larger 410 Williams you'll have to deflate the front section of the tubes just to allow it to squidge a little bit further forward but if you do that you can get the inflation kit and there is power in there as well. So let us crack on with the rest of the tour. And also in here we have the access to the crew cabin which we'll have a quick peek at. We'll just dive in the crew cabin quickly while they've got it open. Nip down here. So as you can see over this side we have a little standard berth. Surprisingly good in fact Really good standing headroom. I'm one meter seventy, and I can't touch the ceiling. Then down below here, we have another little berth that tucks forward. A bit of storage up there, and then in here, we have the crew heads. Pretty standard, but very functional. Wash basin, shower, and I suspect that you see hidden in there is the heads. You can access both via both stairways so there's a stairwell up this side that then takes you forward right the way forward and you can do exactly the same on this side where you'll notice you're access things like the shore power the letterbox passerelle in there and these absolutely insane look at this for scale almost like extended cleats slash handrail that leads us up into the half cockpit past this beautiful stainless work of these fair leads Little sea gate there, cleat, and lovely to see a stern bollard. If you've ever moored stern to in the med, rear bollards are absolutely fantastic. And obviously clever use of the overhang on that tender garage, because if you look at this, this is quite neat. Massive space here that it also then undercuts. So it gives you a little bit more of an extension out the back there. We will start by going forwards on the deck. And again, you know when we stood outside and looked at the height of the bulwarks, you can see now that's where we were down there. So they are just at hip height, great big grab rail, and again, acres and acres of fabulous glaze, and it just makes them so light and bright inside. Gate and door here into the helm station. Another midship's cleat there. Fantastic storage lockers, both sides, they go all the way under these seats. It's great to have access to storage space for lines and lockers forward without having to drag them up here. Beautiful little section of seating here. I get out my shadow, there you go. Little coffee table. You can see there, there is the windows. And you'll also notice that there's a panel of windows there. That's effectively an opening sunroof, which we'll have a look at on the inside. More lounging and deck space in here. Underneath that flap is a ice chest and you'll see that the back of these back chairs or the back of these sun lounges pop up and drop down depending on the mode that you want to be in for sun lounging and a tr truly decent size couple of anchor lockers both sides. Decent windlass, epic cleats look and just fantastic functional and beautiful fairlies the way they've cut those and moulded those into the deck. Quick turn around give you an idea of the size and the scale of her. So we will head back down this lovely side deck and go and have a peek inside. 
Actually, no, we won't. We're going to do the flybridge first. So here we go. Ooh, up the flybridge. Once you get up here, absolutely fantastic. Again, that sort of lounging seating area continues. Lovely sort of companion seating here, giving the ability to sh join the captain. Very well protected because it is quite a high lip up here. There's lots of wind protection. Helm station, very much like we'll see downstairs. So there's a couple of Ray Marines, Bonning um, control system there. She's on MAN diesel, so she's running the MAN uh, controllers, trim tabs, autopilot down there, lovely gimbaled, balanced, he says, princess wheel, bow on stern thrusters, and then a couple of helm seats here. Beautifully vast dining area here with fold in, fold out table, and the nice thing is you're getting loads of protection from this big, big, big sunroof here, a uh, sunroof, hard top. As you can see here, it's lovely again, they've sort of infilled it with this acoustic material. And then last but by no means least, hidden at the back here, right, sort of free of the overhang of the uh, hard top, we have the grill, sink, and then down under here we have bin, bin, uh, I'm sure there's a fridge here somewhere. There you go, oh, ice maker down there. So, pretty vast flybridge, and I think if I'm right, there is ice chest in there as well. Ooh, so there you go, lovely flowers. Let's go and have a peek down below decks. Pull out drawer fridge down there, uh, engine access down there, we'll have a look on the way out. Extension here to the galley area. And in there again is another ice chest bottle storage. Big, big opening sliding door. And then a pop-up section you can see over here. Really does open this galley area out to the aft deck. Beautiful way they've underlit the worktop here. Domestic fridge and freezer in there. Miele cooking, oven and hob. Double sink in here. And then, ta -da, dishwasher. Who doesn't love a dishwasher? And then that feeds straight across to this internal dining table over here. Again, big section, you can fold right the way across and that feeds right the way out if you want to feed the people in the aft deck or even in the water. The way that they do their woodwork in here is absolutely beautiful. So they've got this dark walnut wood that feeds into this light carpet. And then you've got light leather here. And then some really nice sort of mottled gray fabrics to balance that off. But the detailing, I love the detailing. So down here is, I think, there you go, the cutlery. And in there you've got all the princess logoed plates. Let's get the way that that blends in there. And then over here we have this vast sort of entertaining space with light flooding in through these windows. And again, if we look over the other side again, you can see the size of those windows and how much light they're throwing in. Pop-up TV over there. Behind this beautifully crafted door is the winemaker. Absolutely fantastic. And again, the way they've got the dark wood, the sort of leatherette top, light carpet, absolutely beautiful. And the way this sofa sort of floats on a wood with a under backlighting underneath. And then you have got some drawers under here as well for a bit of extra storage. That leads us forwards to the helm station. Again, beautiful way that they've got the teak inserts, stainless in there, dark leather on the black, on the back, and then that ivory leather on the front. Captain's and navigator's seat, access to that side door we looked at externally. And again, pretty much a repeat of what we saw upstairs. So the bonding system, two Ray Marine MFDs, throttle controllers over there, and the proportional bow and stern thrusters down here. Lovely Mercedes-Benz inspired air vent there. Decent sized windscreen and again a lovely companion sort of morning breakfast spot here to have your coffee first thing in the morning. Access down there to the master cabin and then the rest of the accommodation is forward here. But I'll be honest with you, there's almost two master cabins on this boat. We're going to go down here past the 
AC controller and the AC DC switches. We're going to go forwards first, past what we have in here, which is the tumble dryer, and then down there we have a washing machine into the master cabin. I'm sorry, I keep saying master cabin because to me this does feel, when you first arrive, feel like a master cabin. Tons and tons of headroom up here, big hull windows over there, big wardrobe down the side here. It just feels like a master cabin in here. I'm going to call this master cabin two. Big inset TV in the window there, more storage running right the way across here, behind there, and exactly the same on the other side over there, but beautiful the way they've got that fluted wood over there, blending into that fabric with that sort of princess style in cut. More storage at the top here as well. And then there's access there through to the foredeck if you need to escape. And then around the corner here, we have the ensuite to this cabin. Beautiful sort of Corian flowing molded sink, storage underneath, mirror and storage above, and then a very nice, very decent size, full height self-contained shower in there. And behind the door, nice electric towel, heater, radiator, and the loo itself. Loads and loads of storage under the bed. So we then come out of what I'm gonna call master cabin number two. That takes us into what is effectively the shared head for the other two cabins on this deck. Similar molded sink. Again, similar full height shower cubicle, little hull window, heads, a heated towel rail here, and then access to one of the two twin cabins. In fact, we're gonna come out of there just to keep the flow going. So we go back into the companionway, past the washing machines, into the cabin. We've just come through that door there. In here we have wardrobes, big hull window, and again, really nice couple of twin berths. Now, if I go and stand, you can see here there's an inset. If I go and stand in that inset, and again, this is about where we stood outside. Just touch the ceiling, just touch the ceiling. TV on the wall over there. And again, that beautiful balance with the leather, the dark wood. I'm pretty confident that you could infill these two beds. And the same as the master cabin, that fluted wood at the back blending into that lovely stitch fabric. So we come out of the twin cabin, cross the companionway, we come to twin cabin number two, effectively. Pretty much a mirror of the other one, but it doesn't share the Jack and Jill. So all we have here is a wardrobe, hull windows, the same twin berths that could be a double, same headrest at the back and same insane headroom. So we'll come out of this one. We'll go back into the main saloon. And then we'll go down this companion way to what I'm going to call master cabin number one, past this, or around this beautiful half circle stairway into this lobby. So we've got a bit of storage behind this cupboard, big mirror over there, sort of confusing you a little bit as you come down the stairs and then into the master cabin number one. Just incredible. So we'll start over this side, and I'm gonna say vast, because it is vast single piece of glass hull window with the opener, beautiful princess sofa there, sort of nestling itself into the woodwork. And the way that they've recessed the windows down here. So you've got dark wood, you've got light fabric around the windows, beautiful coral light over there. That same signature headboard, dressing table over the far side, another huge hull window, massive inset TV. And if we walk right the way around here, again, past the detailing on the door, past the beautiful detailing in that bookcase, more storage down there, sort of somewhere to store your watches or your jewelry in there on this lovely leather top we see there. Again, massive hole window. Into this sort of dressing area, so storage in there, wardrobe space in here, like so. Again, same wood inside, beautiful. Big mirror in here, and that takes us into the master ensuite. Starting with this little run, or impressive run, of molded twin sinks. Huge mirror on the back wall there. 
marble floor. Again, the following of that sort of two-tone interior, lovely electrically heated towel rail, big, big full-size mirror there with the older hull glazing and then the heads in there. But just, I can stand in here, look, this is quite a seriously sized bathroom. So there you go. So we'll head back. Those of you who want to have a look at the engine bay, if they're going to allow us in, we're going to have a quick peek. For those of you who don't, I'll say goodbye now, but do please like and subscribe. And I, we'll have a quick peek in the engine bay. So here we go, here we are in the engine bay. And again, for the sake of it, I'm just going to turn the camera around and give you an idea. I'm on meter 70, plenty of headroom in here. So in here, we have a couple of V12 MAN diesels. These are uh, 1650s each. And these are going to give you 34 to 36 knots. There is an option to upgrade and take the V12 1850 engines, which is going to give you 36 to 38 knots. Either way, pretty impressive. So over there, you can see all the Dometic air chiller units, all the electrical units behind us there. More Dometic chiller units over there. Big raw water pumps in there. And behind us here, look at the raw water intakes. Look at the size of these things. So that draws effectively raw water in and runs it through the heat exchanger that runs and cools the engine. Very, very impressive. It's just mammoth down here. And look at this. This is the exhaust coming out the back of the engine. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So there you go. We'll just climb out of here and we will say a big thank you to Princess Modi Yacht Sales for letting us have a look around this absolutely beautiful Princess S72. I would ask you do please like and subscribe. It makes a really big difference to us on the channel. I hope you've enjoyed that. We've got over 300 other videos like this on the channel, so have a look and I will see you next time round. Thank you very much for watching.